kids involved in the game of golf. All right, joining us now, he is getting ready to play in the 94th PGA Championship from the Pacific Northwest. So a raindrop doesn't bother him at all. Jeff Costin joins us now. And, and Jeff, you're from the state of Washington, but you spent a lot of years in Orlando, Florida. So you've dealt with humidity, you know rain. But how about preparation? How much has your preparation for this major championship been affected this week? Well, yesterday was on and off because of the rain and the lightning, but uh, I've been here a few times before. I played in the 2005 National Club Professional Championship and the 2007 Senior PGA. So uh, I really enjoy the golf course and know it well and have had some success out here. So I'm looking forward to tomorrow, no question about it. Well, Jeff, I got a question for you. What's the difference? Do you see anything huge differences in Kiowa this year since 2007? Yeah, when I, especially when I look in the mirror. No, I'm just kidding, but um, basically it's a lot longer. <laughs> it's a lot longer. I was playing the back nine yesterday, and I remember hitting a five iron on 17, and yesterday the flag stick was in the back, and I cut a little three wood in there. So, man, it's a lot different that in, in that regard for sure. Well, that's what I was going to ask you, Jeff. Uh, do, you, do you think you've got enough length to handle this thing this week? I'm sorry, I did not hear you. Uh, do you think you have enough length to handle this thing this week? Yeah, you know, I've been I've only done 500 push-ups so far this morning. I got 500 more to do after this interview, but um, I'll be ready. Um, no, I'm looking forward to it. I, uh, you know, they've moved the tees back quite a bit, and um, so I pulled out the five wood this week. That's going to be, you know, my my club of choice here. You know, how do you set goals? Because getting there. Uh, is is a career achievement because you don't get to play the game uh, for a living. You teach, uh, you try to give, you try to grow the game. What is the goal? You know, I, I think I think to play 18 one-hole golf tournaments for me each day. I mean, I can focus my mind how I want to for one shot for 15 seconds, and then you know get out of that zone and and have a little fun in between. But uh, I'm enjoying the process, enjoying the journey. But really, handling one hole at a time. You know. I, they don't make a par four I can get I can't get home on so that's a good thing and uh, I gotta ask you, you your son Tyler many years ago or maybe it wasn't that many years ago did he actually caddy for our Jerry Foltz in an event in Texarkana <laughs> yeah Texarkana he he caddied for Jerry It was Jerry's best tournament of his life you know he gave him a big tip but I remember I missed the cut and so I'm watching my kid caddy the last two days of that, so that was uh, humbling, but uh, a good thing at the same time. Well, I, I hope that Tyler is well adjusted despite that experience with Jerry Foltz. I mean, his life didn't go sideways after being around him for four <laughs> days, did it? No, no, not at all. And, and uh, they've been friends since and, and, and have kept in contact, so it's been fun. It's been a lot of fun. Well, Jeff, there was a very nice feature on Golf Channel last night about you and certainly about your commitment to your family. Hope you have a great week. Enjoy it. It's a career achievement to get into another major championship. You don't look your age. Come on, you look great. <laughs> have a great week. Okay, hey, thank you very much, and thanks for having me. Okay, there is Jeff Costin, uh, all these various stories. And, Landy, you were saying it earlier. Uh, both of you guys won this tournament, uh, and, the, and the idea of the men and women who, who grow the game and are stewards of the game, they all have a great story to tell. And every day, they're doing everything they can to make the game of golf more enjoyable for everybody, young and old. Well, they do, and, and I mean, none of us would be where we are right now that have played the game if it weren't for a PGA professional. I know that uh, my professional growing up, my parents didn't have a lot of money, so uh, my Christmas gift every year for my club pro was a set of clubs, and he gave me all his used shoes, and so, I mean, I wore his old golf shoes and had clubs from him, so it, he's the one that actually, you know, gave me the opportunity to keep playing. Well,